Hello, my name is Mark Shutem, and this is my Calculus 1 project about calculus and skeet, the shooting sport. I am a computer science major, and my plans for the next two years is to graduate, obviously, and to start either creating my own app or video game or software production company or to join a major company that has that now I my project is going to be about the connection between skeet skeet shooting and trajectory calculus now this uh, trajectory cal calculus in my um, in this case means seeing where two different lines intersect or in this case two different functions um, uh, I have an example of two different kinds of uh, intersections. One on the left side, it is going to be a secant line, where the line intersects the parabola in two different places. And the one on the right shows a tangent line, where the line intersects the well, the line does not intersect, it merely touches a single point on the parabola. Now, this compared to the upside down parabola of the clay trajectory in this trajectory in this uh in this video game can be very well can seem very different. But if I were to turn the uh the left picture upside down you can see very well that it is most definitely a secant line from the from the skeet gun to the clay projectile and the mo the most if it were the most effective point and the best point to shoot at would obviously be at the top of this plane but also a very good shot would be here where where the uh where the clay is currently now example here example two here you see that we are now going into a more real life example you see here a curve of which the clay would take if it were to be thrown and the trajectory as at which the the shooter is aiming at now if this example trajectory of the clay were to happen there would be two places where the shooter's aim would intersect with the clay's trajectory the first one would be here in the beginning of the of the clay's journey across the uh, the range, and the second would be here, where it would be optimal for the shooter to shoot the clay. Now, obviously, there are the very different functions you can have, various points of of intersections at different at different places. Some may be skinnier, uh, will provide a skinnier space between the between the, the line and the parabola, but they all are secant line. Now, for example three, we have here a different kind of layout for for this key range as you can see here the shooter is at a almost perpendicular position 
to the two towers and where the 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 towers will be will be projecting the clay the clays into the air now since since because of gravity these clays will take a par parabolic path to the ground if they were not shot at and if they do not collide now if you were to be if you wanted to shoot both of them at the same time you would have to shoot at the intersection between the two paths in which the clays are are intersecting and if you were to shoot at this intersection from where the shooter is currently you will only hit them in one the tr the, you will only hit the parabolic trajectories in one point and therefore creating a tangent line instead of the usual secant line because of how these paths are and that concludes this small showcase between skeet and trajectory calculus thank you and have a great day